get a job at the gym. Like, if you really need to talk to girls wow. at the gym. But, like, so I. Went zero like, to 100 very quick. Yeah, like, change your career, <laughs> be a personal trainer. You have a $30 an hour paying job? Quit it. Minimum <laughs> wage, front desk, that's how you get girls. another freaking video and like I always say do we have a video for you today we have a special guest Kristen Conger in the house she'll be taking me through a leg day and we're gonna get the answer to the question is is it okay to pick up girls in the gym and all you guys out there Kristen is gonna help you guys get a girlfriend you heard it here first and that is all that matters because if you lift all these weights, and if you diet, and if you do everything to the best of your ability, but you can't talk to a girl, well, that's your biggest issue. So she's gonna give you tips, tricks, and what not to do when picking up girls in the gym. So funny story, first girl I ever picked up in the gym, this is how I did it. Feel free to use this exact. So I was 17, I had the most confidence in the world. There was a girl I wanted to speak to for like three months. So I went to Dollarama, which is across from the gym, and I bought a little Hershey Kiss. And I went up to her when she was leaving the gym, and I said, hey, do you want a kiss? She just it looked so weird. I pulled out a kiss out of my pocket. She died of laughter. She gave me her number. And three weeks later, she moved to England. So, that's a very true story, by the way. It's a really sad story. <laughs> it was actually like really, I was very upset as a 17 year old. I even bought her her favorite. It looks like you're tearing up. Her, her favorite. Uh, animal was a husky, just so is mine. So as a going away present, I went to build a bear and I built her a husky and named him Montley because that was her favorite singer's uh, band or whatever band singer's name. Music. <laughs> Music name. Kristen. What is the best way to approach a girl? Um. I feel like the best way to approach a girl is like you can't do it to every girl because if a girl looks like she doesn't want to talk to anybody, don't talk to her. Just don't. <laughs> but if noted. Well, <laughs> just literally say exactly how you feel. Like if I'm training, if I'm doing like bicep curls, and like you're over there, and like I'm killing it, you're just doing your thing, and like I like look at you. How would you look at me? For me to approach you, um, or would you look at me at all, or will girls look at you at all, or do yeah. I have to just make an assumption that every girl is into me? It has to be super me? casual, for sure. Like I feel like the only way to approach a girl is if it's super nonchalant. Like if they're leaving the gym and they're just stretching and they're like taking their music out, and you just say something super casual. That's like the only way, in my eyes, that it's right to try to talk to a girl in the gym. 
in what would be casual? Like, how many sets do you have left? Or, hey, I don't want to disrupt your workout. Yeah, like, don't, like, don't hit on her. Don't fall out, like, go all out. Okay, so another question is, okay, we're all here to work out. We all get that. You guys should be bettering yourself. She's bettering herself. But if I go up and I'm like, hey, I know we're both really into our workouts. I'd love to get to know you or take you out. Can I have your number? Is that too, like... Like I yes or no? I would say like, no. No? Okay. If someone asks me for their number, like that happens and I don't. Like I'm so awkward. I've told people so many times like, oh I'm seeing someone or like, no, I only give my number to my girls or like, <laughs> like that's happened many times. Okay, so part two to that then. So should a guy continuously like make efforts if he sees you on a regular basis? So like maybe start off one day of like a high, like the next day is like, oh like, can I work in with you or like how was your day? Maybe or just something. like get a job at the gym. Like if you really need to talk to girls wow. at the gym. But like so I zero to a hundred very quick. Yeah, like change your career. <laughs> be a personal trainer. You have a thirty dollar an hour paying job? Quit it. Minimum <laughs> wage front desk, that's how you get girls. Like, Comfortable. Like say I'm super socially awkward, I don't have the best communication and would skills. You work out with that girl? Exactly, but at least you'd have something to talk about during the workout. Like why? I have muscles and you have muscles. Like, what would like you... oh, like, what do you want to do next? Like, how long have you been training for? Like, it could be workout related. I think it shouldn't be like that. I think, like, if you feel the only way to talk to them at the gym is, like, go and do, like, a fun activity. Like, Fun Haven. I mean, I don't know what Fun Haven is. You don't know what Fun Haven well, is? I'm so sorry for your childhood. Isn't it for, like, four year olds? No. What is it? It's an arcade. What? <laughs> Funhaven, it's, it's for kids. If you guys know what Funhaven is, please like this video. It's just hard because to go to dinner with someone, you need to have really good conversations. Skills. Yeah, I agree. That's like you would never ask them to go to a movie. Without so can you ask a girl in the gym to go to dinner with you or no? Should I like find her on Instagram and slide into a DM instead? I think like if you really want to ask them any question, you really want to hang out with them, like it's not wrong to just like introduce yourself and ask. In person. In person if yeah. you want to go. Like, Will you stand out more if you out. ask in person versus like DMs? Oh my god, don't slide into the- don't okay. creep her out. Don't. This actually happened to me too. <laughs> Another fun fact, someone went up to someone at the counter of a gym, like the guy who asked me to do legs. He went up and like asked me what my name was, asked me how the guy knew me, like that worked in the gym, like literally asked me how old I was, like anything about me. And this guy came up to me multiple times being like, I know you from somewhere, I know you from somewhere. And he's like, I met you at a festival, I did this, blah, 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 like we've met before. And like, I'm so good at faces. That's why like, like right off the bat, I, like I knew you worked at Popeyes, you know? Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh, cause like you used to sell me supplements and stuff yeah. like that. Like I'm really good at remembering things like that and I've never seen this guy before. And I also already thought he was creepy so like I would have known if I saw him in person cause I would've been like, bye, <laughs> like, see ya. But yeah, no, he like absolutely don't do that. Like don't creep girls and then slide into their DMs and like act like you know them or like. Cool. So always in person. Maybe, maybe always toss a follow and then if they follow you back and like a picture then it's like, okay. Like, Okay. Maybe be like, hey, and that's it. This so, is the real like, question. Do you like a picture? Do you like their two most recent pictures? Or do you like one recent picture and one picture from like months ago? <laughs> to prove you're creepy. Yeah. Um, to see if they're into you. Only if the person's super good looking. Okay. Like I've definitely done that like once or twice. But no, like, I think it's super obvious. So you can't just... Yeah. Like you can't like find like six girls and be like, oh, they're all so hot. I'm gonna like, cause like especially if they're friends, like everyone knows everyone. So it's like then all of a sudden it's like you, no one's gonna talk to you, cause they all know you're just like sliding into everyone's DMs. Yeah. Cool. All right, next exercise. So if I ask a girl out in the gym and she says no, should I feel uncomfortable yes. like in that gym going like, or would she just like brush it off? Like if a guy asks you out and you're like, no, sorry, I'm seeing someone, or whatever, and then they're just like, see you again, should they feel uncomfortable? Or would you just brushed it off and you don't even remember? No, I feel like no one should feel embarrassed for asking someone out. Like, yeah, if you're a pig about it and you don't stop asking, 
like it was just like why not like well why you make them feel uncomfortable they're probably gonna give you like the stink eye the whole time they see you next but like in general if someone were to come and just ask me out and I said no I wouldn't like I usually am just like whatever So You're not doing anything. Those calves, though. <laughs> it's an elite calf exercise. So, I guess the real question here is, is it okay to hit on girls in the gym? I feel like if you really need to, you can go and politely, without giving anyone anxiety, ask her out. And if she says no, just be like, okay. Ask her hi. out or ask her for her number. Like, what would be the best? Like, well, hey, like, would you no. like to go get like dinner <laughs> after this, or can I have your number and then ask her out over text? Don't ever ask anyone just for their number. I feel like. Okay. Cause like you didn't even introduce yourself. You know what I mean? So just act like a friend. Yeah. Or like, just be like, hey, um, I've seen you work out here a few times. Would you want to go get dinner sometime? Are you seeing anyone? And then they'll say yes or no. And then you just go from live there. happily ever after. Awesome. So I hope all these tips and our advice from my friend Kristen really helps you guys out. Like I said, her link, first link in the description. The one and only filmer, Zach Clark. Second link in the description, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.